near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. This is Mr. Chris Claremont. A legend. Melanie goes, eat some Following the tradition of reminding you what is coming out the last week of the month, here are the books are coming June 27th, or I guess 26th, depending on where you get your books. That last week of June, we have Sense of Sinister from Marvel Comics coming out. And this is the trade paperback version by Karen Gillan and other writers and Paco Medina, Lionel Francis Yu doing that cover. Uh, this collects Sense of Sinister number one, Immortal X-Men 1 through 3, Storm and the uh, Brotherhood of Mutants 1 through 3, Nightcrawler 1 through 3, Sins of Sinister Dominion number one. And that is Immortal X-Men, not Immortal X-Men. This one has 344 pages. It's 50 bucks. And Realm of X is coming out. This is by friend of the channel, Tarun Grombag. And this collects Realm of X 1 through 4. Uh, Dio Diogenes Neves is the artist with Bruno Oliveira. $17.99, 120 pages. Venom by Al Ewing, Volume 6, Infiltration is coming out. And this also collects issues 26 through 30. Al Ewing and Tarun Grombag, Julius Ota. $15.99, 112 pages. Marvel Masterworks, The Incredible Hulk, Volume 18. Continuing the Bill Matlow and Sal Buscema era. Had, this has issues 266 to 279, and then material for Marvel Fanfare number 7. Defenders, Epic Collection, Enter the Headman. And this is... Defenders Epic Collection Volume 2, collecting Defenders 12 through 25, Giant Size Defenders 1 through 4, Marvel 2 and 1, 6 and 7, and plus material from Mystery Tales 21, World of Fantasy 11, and then Tales of Suspense number 9. Thunderbolts World Strike, Colin Kelly, Jackson Lansing, Gerardo Borges, Nico Leon, $17.99, 176 pages, and collects Thunderbolts 1 through 4, and Devil's Reign Winter Soldier. Captain Marvel by Margaret Stoll. This is a big, thick book. Uh, collecting issues of the mighty Captain Marvel 0 through 9, Captain Marvel 125 to 129, Generations Captain Marvel and Marvel, and The Life of Captain Marvel 1 through 5. Ramon Rosanas, Brent Schnuver, and Terry Dotson are some of the artists. $44.99, 488 pages. Wolverine by Benjamin Percy, Volume 3. This is the oversized hardcover for $49.99, and it has 392 pages, collecting issues of Wolverine 26 through 32 and 33, the A story 34 through 35 and 37 through 40, as well as X-Force by Benjamin Percy, volume three, and that one is $44.99, 328 pages, and collecting X-Force 15 through 20, and Wolverine number 13. So it's got that crossover in there. New X-Men is getting the Modern Era Epic Collection treatment. E is for Extinction. So Grant Morrison's era kicks off with issues 114 to 126 and Annual 2001, which is the Landscape Annual. Frank Quietly, Ethan Van Skyver, and other artists on this particular book with Grant Morrison writing it. $44.99, 384 pages. And from the world of DC Comics, Absolute Superman by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank coming out that week. $150, 664 pages. The Penguin, Prodigal Bird. So this is The Penguin Volume 1 by Tom King, Stefano Guadino. And this collects The Penguin 1 through 6, $19.99, 200 pages. And Lobo, Big Fragon Compendium. This was my number 12 when I had to choose 10 books for this month. I love the stuff in here because you have Keith Giffen, you've got Alan Grant, Val Simaix, Simon Bice Beasley, uh, and it is a big book. It's not an omnibus, but I will take it. I love all collected editions. It's a thickie. It is 1,256 pages, $59.99, and it collects Lobo, the miniseries one through four, Lobo zero through nine, annuals one and two, Lobo, 
paramilitary, paramilitary Christmas special number one. Lobo's back one through four. I love the artwork in that. That's uh, Simon Beasley. Lobo Blazing Chain of Love. Lobo Infanticide one through four. Lobo Portrait of a Victim number one. The Un-American Gladiators one through four. The Convention Special number one. A Contract on God. G-A-W-D one through four. Lobo in the Chair one. Green Lantern Corps quarterly number eight. Superman Man of Steel number 30. The Demon 11 through 15. Omega Man three. And Profiles pages from Who's Who number eight. And Lobo Cop number one parody. Man, it brings back a lot of memories. Batman, Catwoman, The Gotham War. Chip Zdarsky and Teeny Howard teaming up on this book with Jorge Jimenez and Nico Leon collecting Batman, Catwoman, The Gotham War battle lines and Batman 137 and 138, Catwoman 57 and 58, and Batman, Catwoman, The Gotham War Scorched Earth. Absolute final crisis coming back to print. If you're a fan of the crisis books, and you're missing one of the crises in Absolute Edition, here it is. Grant Morrison's, J.G. Jones, Carlos Pacheco, Doug Mankey, Marco Rudy, and collecting Batman 682 to 683, Final Crisis 1 through 7, Final Crisis Superman Beyond 1 and 2, and Final Crisis Submit 1 and Final Crisis Sketchbook. This one is $125, 480 pages. I don't know if it comes with the 3D glasses for those Superman stories or not. Um, I know the the standard size hardcover did, but this one does have the redrawn artwork by J.G. Jones when he was running late on the monthly issues. Uh, yeah, Doug Mankey step in and do some of the fill-in art, but I think he went back and finished it. So that's really cool. The Flash Year One by Joshua Williamson and Howard Porter is getting a new edition, collecting The Flash 70 through 75. And we are also getting from the world of image comics 1949 is getting a hardcover format and that is by dustin weaver and this collects or well this is packlist 1949 as originally published as packlist five through seven huh i love that cover i didn't even know about this particular book so if you read it let me know cobra commander volume one is coming out not the direct market but just the standard cover for everybody Dark Ride is coming out, and that is the Volume 3, Joshua Williamson. Andre Brazan is the artist on the book. And we're also getting the I Hate Fairy Tale, the whole Fluffing Tale Compendium Volume 1. And that is being published by the folks at Image, of course. Scotty Young, working on this book. Uh, it's been available in three hardcovers. No, two hardcovers, two hardcovers. Uh, this collects I Hate Fairyland and I Hate uh, image F free comic book day 2017 uh, all 20 issues of I hate fairyland for $34.99 it is a soft cover and Kaya volume 3 is coming out and that is by Wes Craig who did the artwork in the deadly class and of course Guardians of the Galaxy this collects Kaya's 12 through 17 uh, $14.99 from the world of Dark Horse Comics, we are getting the Asiri Volume 1, and that is by Roye Okupe, as well as the Eerie Archives Volume 6, uh, the sister comic to Creepy. But this has Jack Sparling, Carlos Garzon, Tom Sutton, Nicola Cuti, and Buddy Saunders. Collecting issues 28 through 31. The EC Archives Crime Suspense Stories Volume 2 is coming out. Johnny Craig, Jack Davis, Graham Ingalls, and Jack Kamen. Uh, collecting issues 7 through 12. 216 pages, $19.99. Hellboy, The Crooked Man, and The Return of Effie Kolb. So... This has artwork in here by the legendary Roger Corman. If you've never read The Crooked Man, it is creepy and amazing. And Hellboy and the BPRD, The Return of Effie Kolb 1 and 2. Usagi Jimbo, 40th Anniversary Reader is coming out. This is a trade paperback, $14.99, 144 pages, and collects A Mother's Love, Blade of the Gods, Way of the Samurai, Chanuyo, Cut the Plume, The Artist, Bonturi and Adachi. And from the world of Boom Studios, we are getting Garfield Full Course Volume 3, and that is a trade paperback, as well as Sons of El Topo coming out in a hardcover format. 
From IDW, we're getting Julie and the Blue Guitar, American Girl Mysteries Across Time. And that is by Casey Gilly and Felia Hanakata. And 96 pages, $9.99. From Dynamite, we're getting the Lilo and Stitch graphic novel, uh, six, the 626 graphic novel, $14.99. And Red Sonia, Black, White, and Red, the signed edition, is finally coming out that day. And that one is $49.99. From the world of manga, from Kodansha Comics, we're getting a sign of affection, Omnibus Volume 2. That is by Sue Monishita. $22.99. And Disney Descendants Mouse Royal Challenge is coming out. Fist of the North Star continuing this amazing series. If you haven't picked it up, it's being published by uh, Viz by Tetsuo Hara. I freaking love this series. And they are following the mapping like the books were when they were released in Japan. <laughs> We are also getting the I Hear the Sunspot, an original graphic novel from One Piece books. Gravitation, the collector's edition is coming out from Seven Seas Entertainment, uh, volume one, and that is $24.99. And we're also getting the initial D, Omnibus Volume 2, continuing that series. And I hope they finish it out too, because I, I was a big fan of the Tokyo Pop stuff and then they discontinue it. And Vertical Comics is coming out with Kaina of the Great Snow Sea, Volume 1, by Sutomu Nehie and Itoe Takemoto, $13.95. Mermaid Prince is coming out that week from the folks at Vertical Comics, as well as My Name is Shingo, The Perfect Edition, Volume 2. I cannot wait to get that one. I have Volume 1, and I want to do an overview of it. And yeah, maybe I'll wait for Volume 2. This is from Viz. And it is continuing the Kauzo Umez series. Um, but I think it's only two of them, and that's it. $35 for that particular hardcover. And My Noisy Roommate, Volume 1, is coming out that very same week. And that is being published by the folks at Kadansha. We're also getting Reborn Rich coming out that week. And that is being published by the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment. And we're getting the Tales of Tendo Family, Volume 2. And that is being published by the folks over at One Piece. And One Piece Books is Peace. I, always, I think I feel like I need to mention that all the time. Just in case. Villain Actor is being published by the folks over at Titan Comics. And we're getting the Wild Beast forest house coming out that week and that's being published by the folks at tokyo pop becoming a princess knight and working at a yuri brothel and look them girls are having a lot of fun this is volume two and published by ghost ship and it is hinaki the writer and artist on that book from other publishers we have a blaze artist spotlight werther del dera bandit set and that is the same gentleman that's working on Something is Killing the Children. So if you're interested in those particular art styles, that is what's being collected in this particular set. And from Magnetic Press, we're getting Adraste, and that is by Matthew Babay. And I, I this, this is the trade paperback, okay. All New Classics, Captain Canuck, Volume 1, Time Chase is coming out. And Alley Oop! And The Brain Butcher is coming out in a trade paperback format, as well as Ali Oop First Time Travel Adventures 1939 to 1942. Amazonia Episode Volume 1 is coming out that week, and that is being published by the folks at Cinebook. Ablaze is publishing the Animal Castle Mixed format collector set, and that is $49.99. And we're also getting the Back to Fairy Tylia, I believe is how you pronounce it, published by Invader Comics. And Betty and Veronica, A Year in the Life is coming out that week from Archie Comics. I don't talk enough about Archie, but I used to love that stuff when I was a kid. Uh, do, does anybody, do any of you still keep up with Archie? 
Beyond the Quest for Maiden is coming out from Leaf Gleason Comic House, $16.99. And Blitz 1 through 3, the collected band edition, is coming out from a Blaze Studio by Cedric Biscay and Harumo Sanazaki, $29.99. And Captain Canuck Archives, Chariots of Fire Volume 2, as well as the Captain Canuck Archives, The Unholy War. Magnetic Press is coming out with Carbon and Silicon in a car, uh, trade paperback format. The Critical Millennium Dark Frontier Black Star Edition is coming out in a hardcover format. And that is being published by the folks over at Magnetic Press. And we're also getting the Denizen coming out in a trade paperback published by the folks at Vault Comics by Tim Danielle and David Andre and Chris Sheehan doing the artwork in that. Downset Fight 10th Anniversary Edition hardcover is coming out that very same week from the folks at Oni Press. And... We're also getting the Frank Miller's Ronin Gallery Variant Edition coming out that week. Now, I am a big fan of Ronin, and I'm curious what exactly this contains in it. Uh, because, well, I know that Frank Miller has his own printing company now, or publishing company. But this is $195. I believe it's like the the uh, Artist Edition, if I'm not mistaken. Or... Uh, but this is by Graffiti Designs, and it's it's a big book. Just looking at the dimensions of it. So it is the size of one of those artist edition. Girl Power, Amanda Connor's Gallery Variant Edition is coming out that same week. And that is also being published by Graffiti. So it's another art book. That one's $125. God Killer, Spider-Land Deluxe Edition finally coming out. And this is volume three. I, I'm a big fan of these books, so I'm glad they're continuing them. This is published by Black Mask Studios. It's been a couple of years since the last one. The Golden Age Classics Amazing Man Hardcover Volume 1 is coming out. Heavyweight Family Story of Holocaust Empire Memory is coming out that week. And that is being published by William Morrow. And Iris is coming out in a trade paperback version. And that is being published by the folks at Fanic Graphics. We're also getting J&K trade paperback published by Fanic Graphics. As well as Lady Death Omnibus Volume 1. Now this is a reprint by Coffin Comics. And this is the big book. It looks like an absolute edition. And Lady Death Rules Volume 4 from Coffin Comics. Midnight Order is coming out that week by Magnetic Press. There's a hardcover and a softcover. The hardcover is $39.99. The softcover, $24.99. And The New Adventures of Encanto, Volume 1, Time to Shine, coming out from paper cuts in a trade paperback and a hardcover. I love when studios do that. Pell Queen is coming out that very same week. Again, a hardcover and a softcover. This one from Quill Tree Books. And the Pre-Code Classics Web of Evil is coming out in a softy format. So soft cover format for $32.99. Shangri-La is coming out in a trade paper. Man, Magnetic Press said, you know what? We're going to take our popular titles, put them all in trade paperback format. Silver Streak Season 1 Starting Line is coming out that week. And that is being published by the folks at Leaf Gleason Comic House. As well as Sudden Death, trade paperback from Scout Comics. And that is by Alexander Banks Jungman and Robert Ahmad. And from that same week, we're getting Time Buddies, Volume 1, coming out in a trade paperback format. And Tower of God, Volume 4, is being published in a hardcover and a trade paperback. And that is $24.99 for the hardcover, $18.99 for the trade paperback format. And that's by Webtoon Unscrolled. Tunis to Sydney is coming out in a trade paperback format. And When the Lake Burns is coming out from the folks at B-Dang Publishing. Now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these books, 
Don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Let me know in the comments down below what you are picking up, what you're most excited for. And again, if you wanted to see the written documentation, that can be found on our Patreon. And speaking of our Patreon, thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Could not be doing this without you all. That is it, everybody. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.